Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to the channel. Previously, we had made a tutorial video about 4 steps to make a little fan and we also promised that we will make another video to discuss deeper in some techniques to make better little fan. So, here is that video, 10 things I wish I had known before I printed my little fan. In the end of this video, you will learn about some tips and hacks to achieve better quality little fan printing. Without further ado, let us get started with the tips number 1. Black, blue, red, green. Is the color really that matters in little fan printing? The answer is yes. Different type of filament color will directly affect the succession of your little fan printing. It is not surprised that most makers choose to print their little fan in white as the color has the best ability to be translucent to light. Darker color filament tends to block more light from passing through. Thus, you will have to reduce the maximum thickness more to see the effect of the little fan. However, remember how the little fan effect is relying on the thickness difference of the surface to form the image contrast. So, by lowering down the maximum thickness, we will also reduce the contrast of the image, causing the image to be less vivid, especially for complex pictures. Thus, we will suggest using white filament or at least picking up a lighter color filament for making little fan. The second tip we will talk about is the choosing of filament type. We all know that the PLA is one of the most user-friendly and easy to handle filament in 3D printing world. Since 3D printing a little fan can be challenging, it is always good that we eliminate some other element that might contribute to its failing such as materials factor. Keep with the simplest printing materials during your first few trials can greatly increase the rate of printing success. Even after you have mastered the techniques, you still have to stick to printing little fan using PLA for a few other reasons such as non-toxic, less expensive as well as easily available. The only time where you should consider other material type is when you decide to place your little fan in a very hot surrounding such as inside a car or in front of a very high powered light source. PLA materials have tendency to melt down under a very hot environment so in these scenarios, you can switch to a filament such as PETG or ABS. Otherwise, we will still suggest using PLA. As we have mentioned earlier, the greater the difference between the minimum and maximum thickness, the better the little fan effect. But this does not mean that you should go beyond the limit of your printer's printing capability. If you try to lower down the minimum thickness to extreme, you will find that the printer might fail to print the thinnest part and leave your little fan surface with holes and gaps. We will suggest that the minimum thickness that you choose to be bigger or at least the same as your nozzle diameter size. Also, by enabling the print thin wall option in the slicer setting can also greatly reduce the chance of having holes and gaps on your little fan surface. Here is a simple trick where you can always foresee if there will or not be holes on your little fan by simply previewing at the layer view after slicing. If there is observable gaps and holes, you might need to increase the minimum thickness more. I still remember my first time printing little fin. I'm all confused looking at the printing effect on my little fin. It is not much like a normal printing shown online where mine has weird line across the whole image and the details are less vivid. After consulting some professional, I realized that I'm not supposed to print the little fin flat on the bed. The way that the extruder travel across the heat bed form observable lines and the resolution is restricted by the layering effect. By rotating the whole model 90 degree across X or Y axis, we can make the little fan stand vertically on the heat bed. The resolution of the image is now dependent on the layer height, which you can just simply adjust across the range of 0.1mm to 0.2mm. 
the surface of the little fan is greatly improved just by these simple actions. Remember, there is one thing that you must do and one thing that you must not during printing a little fan. You should always enable the rough and should not enable supports during the print. Since we are printing the little fan vertically, a rough will provide strong base to hold the little fan straight along the whole printing duration. It can also prevent the little fan from being knocked sideways, causing the ringing effects on the surface or even the failure of the entire printing. Meanwhile, do not enable the supports for the entire printing. The little fan surface will be printed with overhangs, which is not even a slightest challenge for most of the printers. You will mess up your whole little fan surface if you enable the supports for printing. Do you ever wondered how to pick the suitable range for the minimum and maximum thickness of your little fan? Well, the trick is to choose them based on your application of little fan. If you want to gradually view your little fan under the sunlight or normal room lighting, you can choose to have a lower minimum thickness as well as the maximum thickness. However, if you are planning to place a powerful light behind the little fan to lit it up, then you can choose to increase the maximum thickness more based on the power of your light source. For this testing purpose, we specially designed this little fan testing jig so that you can print out and find the best combination of thickness based on your application. We will place the download link down the description below. Feel free to download and share it with your friends. But before that, be sure to give us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. Your support will be our greatest motivation. One of the most important aspects of making a high quality little fan is the accuracy of the extruder movement. The finer the movement of the extruder, the higher the resolution of the little fan. Thus, our objective is to find the axis where the movement of the extruder will be more stable and cause the least vibration towards the printer. For most 3D printer, the x-axis where the extruder carriage moves along will be least stable due to the inertia of the big weight. By printing across y-axis, we can significantly reduce the movement along the x-axis, thus creating a better quality little fan. This solution will also help to reduce ringing effect on your little fan, which caused by the wobbling of the extruder during printing. So, unless you have special reasons not to, always print your little fan along y-axis. If you had ever printed some little fans, you probably noticed the ununiform surface on the edge of the little fan, right? Not only does the edges look ugly and not stylish, but they will also easily damage or wear off from scratches. Lucky for you, we have just an easy fix for you which is to add some frame onto the picture itself. To do so, you will need to import your picture into Microsoft Paint. Adjust the drawing canvas to form frame around the pictures. This blank area will be the width of the frame that you are going to make. Fill the blanks with black color so that the frame will be the thickest part of your little fan. You can adjust the thickness of the frame by changing the color based on your preference. Lastly, save the picture and use it to generate your little fan. It is a creative and easy way to create your little fan frame, right? Because we are printing the little fan vertically, the z-axis movement becomes critical for the printing quality of your little fan. In fact, sometimes gaps and lines you notice on your little fan might be caused by unsmooth movement of the z-axis. This is also known as the bending effect. This is often caused by the mechanical problem on your 3D printer. Great news is that 
you can always eliminate the bending effect problem by making adjustment at your 3D printer mechanical parts. In the description below, I will include a link to a website which I found helpful to guide you on how to solve this bending problem. In the future, I will also make a video on how to solve the 3D printing bending problem, so be sure to stay tuned for our next video. Here comes the final tips in our video. A little fan can be made in different shape, so don't worry if you get bored always printing square flat little fan. With the right tools, you can transform your beautiful pictures or photo into different kind of shape and print them out for different kinds of applications. For example, this spherical moon shaped lamp, Christmas tree decoration light, as well as sweet heart shaped gift for your loved one. We save you some time by listing some of the free tools on the internet so that you can create your little fan of your favorite shape. So, here comes to the end of the video. We hope that the 10 tips above will help you in printing little fan better. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You might be their savior in their journey of 3D printing too. As always, thanks and happy printing.